Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 5 of my full Platinum walkthrough for Bloodborne. Right, we're off to a bit of a different area, side area. Bit of a different one to get to this as well. We actually need to die. So, those big guys with the sacks, the ones I couldn't remember the names of. They're, I've looked it up, they're called Snatchers. We need to find one of those and die to one of those. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to uh, Cathedral Ward and die to the one there. It's quite quick, it's just around the corner. Hypergian Jail is the place that we are going to now, but we're just going to go to, obviously, uh, Cathedral Ward first. Uh, die there, uh, we'll get taken automatically to Hypergian Jail, which is part of a larger area known as Yaha Ghul, the Unseen Village, I think it is. Um, we can't do the full Unseen Village until later on, so this mini part of it is called the Hypergian Jail. And that's what we're going doing now, taking on a boss while we're there, and getting another Hunter Badge as well while we're there. Um, it's just a decent side area to get some Blood Echoes and level up, and there's a, there's a good farming spot as well. So once you die to the Snatcher there, he's you, he's going to drag you in his sack and drop you off in this jail. And uh, yeah, that's where we are. Yargold, the Unseen Village, but the section known as a Hypergian jail so if you died accidentally in part three or four and you're here hello welcome <laughs> uh, we'll get you to the first lamp and then you can go back and continue on with those videos if you need to so we're just going to go down this is the wrong way um so we're going to go down here this is just kind of a, a side bit so you can hear a, a woman talking here she's called um adela yes adela yeah adriana's the other one so yeah adela um, she's off in the corner. I can't pick this item up because she's kind of talking. Um, she's off in the corner here. We're actually going to kill her <laughs> because if you invite her to come to the um, the chapel, to Erden Chapel, then she will kill Adriana and we do not want that to happen. We need Adriana alive. So she won't actually talk to you anyway unless you have some of the kind of black church garb on or something like that. Something clerical looking. Um... So if you kill her, you'll get a rune, the Odin, Odin Rife rune, which is not a particularly good one, but she's going to die if you leave her uh, anyway. Uh, well, not she won't die here. She'll find her body elsewhere. So if you kill her now, you get a rune. That's it. But yeah, do not take her back to the chapel. Leave her where she is, because um, if you keep taking the blood of the the whore, she as she calls her politely, uh, Adriana, if you keep taking her blood, then she will kill the nun will kill her and we need her alive so just leave it as it is right now so this door here is leading to the boss but we're going to go and do the actual area get a few bits so go up this side get this scurrying beast first that's going to be more than enough uh, twin bloodstone shards for me to level up the axe once more and i'm going to do that the lamp is above me right now but there is more of these guys there's loads of these guys and they're no joke I'm not actually sure what that move is supposed to do. Um, I really don't know. Um, it kind of—it doesn't hurt you. It just makes you stumble a bit. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, but what, the thing you need to watch out for is this move where they um, turn red. So the idea with these guys is to charge R2s. And yeah, no, that didn't go well. <laughs> so a charge R2, that will knock him on their ass, uh, and then another charge R2 straight away because they will always automatically do that that kind of red charge leaving them open to a, a free attack and then you need to back away and then hit them again so it's three charge R2s to get those guys down so we'll see it in practice better later on um, so yeah go to Hunter's Dream and uh, we're gonna level up the axe once if you want, you can get the Moon Rune before going back. The Moon Rune gives you more Blood Echoes uh, from killing enemies. That was in the middle of the room I was just in, where the other, the other Snatcher was. Uh, we'll get that afterwards, so it's it's not a major thing. You can put it on later on if you want. Uh, I will do it at the end of the video. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go back. So uh, literally just upgrading the axe a bit to help with these, these guys in this area. So it's actually the third gravestone here. You can see Hypergian Jail. Uh, at the top there it's the third one up and there we go we're back so this is the one I killed before so he will be back of course yeah so I don't know what that does maybe it's some kind of numbing mist I don't know uh, so once twice so he's always going to do that red thing they need to back away because they'll always go straight into attack 
and they will run after you. They're powerful now and they um, are quick. So yeah, use that to your advantage maybe. Back away, charge and attack and uh, get them that way. So this here in the middle is the moon rune. So I'm going to try and uh, get that. So once to knock them down. Second to do a load of damage while they charge. And then uh, third one to finish them. There we go. That's the moon rune on the floor there. So pick that up. And then go round the right hand side of this pillar. There's a, a witch there. Kind of looking. Looks a bit like, bit like the witch from uh, Hemwick. So kill her. If you go straight forward there's a chance she'll grab you and cut at your throat and do loads of damage so just be aware of that you'll see it in action later on because <laughs> one of them gets me uh, so as you go out here there's going to be a pig on the stairs again the best thing to do with these pigs is run to them don't let them get the charge going otherwise they'll uh, can potentially one shot you um, another one shot move is what this pig is about to do the belly flop so watch out for that because they can turn while they're doing it and he's going to do another one but Made it just in time. So down here, this area now is part of a larger area. This is the unseen village that we're in, Yahar Ghoul. So we'll be back here later on. There is a boss here, but it all opens up later on. It's all closed right now. So later on it will open up. Um, so you don't actually need to do this area now. You can do it all later on. But it's fairly simple and straightforward at this point. And it's a good spot. The pig there gives you a load of um, blood echoes. You can get uh, twin and normal shards from the snatchers and the pigs themselves. So it's a good place to know of um, if you want to farm. I don't know. I don't personally do that, so it's up to you. Grab this stuff here. Some uh, gear if you want to wear that, if you want to change. Check it against the stats of the other ones if you want to. There is no gear load or anything like that, so feel free to change into whatever you want. So that was a dead end. For now, it does open up later on, uh, for, but we're just going to go open this shortcut up. There is another fre uh, scurrying beast here, so make sure work. working. He's quite a tough one, actually. Must be something good. Yeah, three twin blood, <laughs> so that's quite good. And if you go to the end, you're going to find the uh, a door opening up to the lamp, so you don't have to walk through this kind of church again if you die go down this way so there isn't much down this end but there is a weapon that we need so it is quite empty at the moment this place but it, oh, it definitely gets more populated later on trust me <laughs> so it's uh, better to clear it out now here we go some cold blood that's what I was looking for so it is obviously that's at a level 8 one they are getting worth more when you, you crack them now. Here is going to be a shortcut again once we're back here the second time. That's all going to open up. There's going to be shortcuts and things everywhere. It's quite a long place this actually. And then uh, we're going to drop down and kill another pig. This one's actually protecting bolt paper which we're going to get. Which is uh, the same as obviously fire paper but uh, puts a bolt uh, kind of effect on your weapon. So again, run to him, take him down. Nice and simple. What do we get? Blood vials. And... Bolt paper. So I'm now going to go to the end. There's a lot of dogs down this end, so don't rush it. Uh, you see, I'm going to stand here in front of this coach and kind of uh, slowly wait for something to happen. It's later on. <laughs> when we come back here later on, something's going to jump out. Uh, yeah, I've got a bit... Uh, Turned around. But yeah, I realised when there wasn't. There's actually supposed to be an item. Later on, there'll be an item in front of the coach. And then you run to it, and uh, it's a trap. So, yeah, um, just be aware of that. But of course, you'll see me do it first if you're watching along. So, yeah, just slowly. These are the, the fast dogs. So, take it slow. There's a lot of them. And you can see at the back there, there's another snatcher with. Uh, dogs. They're everywhere. And they blend in as well, which is worse. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, so, this one here, I'm going to try and get the Snatcher on alone. I don't want any dogs following him. But, 
that does not go well so probably best just to charge in and do an R2 and take the dogs out right away so I've got just his attention which is good I'm gonna wait for him to come down a bit but when I do hit him and when he does the rage attack the rage transformation the dogs or just one of them comes after me which is not good that really messes up my flow <laughs> it makes me have to back up a lot because the these guys are quick as well you can't stand around you need to really uh, put some distance between you and them and now is the time to do it when this kind of there once they've just finished a move there's the best time because they'll come charging at you again giving you that opening not to the cleanest but it's fine now there's one more dog left and uh, the tonitrus which is not a particularly good weapon it's a bolt uh, based weapon it's like a big ball and stick <laughs> not one I'd use no nope, no item there right so we're gonna leave that's this area done essentially we're just going to leave here we'll be back later like I said uh, it'll all look different so we're gonna go not through the front door that we were at before we're gonna go round the back to try and avoid being grabbed by one of those witches and have our throat slit but it doesn't go according to plan of course and yeah there's a snatcher with two dogs which is not good and unfortunately I only get the one this dog seems to do a lot of damage yeah that was a lot taking it carefully <laughs> They do like to pull an attack out right at the last second, these guys. That's a, nice, that's a good one, when they do the heavy attack. Gives you plenty of time. So you can see there's a lot of blood echoes from these guys. So I'm going to run down. Some more shards to the left here. And then this is kind of a, a back way into the bottom of floor. Uh, and there's two witches as soon as you open the door. But they kind of have you in a, a pincer on the the door here. On the other door, should I say. So I'm trying to back away. And that one grabs me. The last, I can't believe it gets me. <laughs> that's what I was trying to avoid. Uh, yeah, you can see that's quite a lot of damage from that. And it's really annoying, frustrating. Because you're trying to hit it. And you have to wait while you get back up. Um, I'll show you in a minute where we are where we're supposed to be. So there's a load of guys on the floor. Uh, a quick R2, just a normal R2 will take care of them in one hit. Or it should do. Don't go through the door on the left just yet. There's two snatchers around the table. If you go through that door, they'll both of them will aggro at the same time. So you do not want that. You can see them there. So this door doorway here is where I was trying to avoid. That's the, the circle stairs. Um in the middle, so below the lamp, to in the middle floor, underneath the lamp, there's a doorway. You go through that doorway, one of the witches runs past to get your attention, and the other one grabs you, and that's what I was trying to avoid. So two snatches here, if you walk slowly, one of them will aggro at a time. Alternatively, if you want to avoid these guys altogether, just run past them. Don't have to fight them if you don't want to. I do not blame you if you don't. If you do, should I say. Uh, yeah, he's going to change. As soon as you hit them is when they change. So you do need to uh, be aware of that. If you are going to run past them, just run to the right. So, straight past them. But they're good for some uh, blood echoes, so I might as well get rid of them. And there we go. And that's it. Just the boss left now. Very quick area, really. There we go, so down here and uh, through the hole in the wall. There is a summon for this fight. We're going to be doing Dark Beast Pal, who is obviously a beast, so fire is good, serrated is good. Honestly, they're not all beasts in this game. It does seem like that. We've done a lot recently, so I'm going to quit out, do a backup. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do the same. Saves the run back, obviously, if you don't want to, and uh, saves on getting more fire paper and stuff. You can buy fire paper from the, the babies in the, the bath, the messengers. Uh, it does get more expensive as we go through the game, so be aware of that. 
It's not essential for this one anyway, but I'll just use it anyway. So get the summon, and they're not going to be able to follow you in straight away. They never are able to do that. There's kind of an invisible fog. You're going to see their stop there. So this is it. This is the beast. So don't run straight in. Uh, what you want? This one can seem quite intimidating because obviously it's a big thing. There's lots of go, <laughs> lots of going on. There's yeah, stay away from that one as well. There's lots of uh, electric, and there's lots of... Uh, yeah, this is the move you need to back away from, so stay away when it does that. Um, hair and everything, but it's actually not too bad once you can get it under control. What you want to do is get behind it, because it is a beast, and start hitting uh, its legs and its chest. So you want to be aiming for its chest as opposed to its head. You lock onto its uh, chest area. Uh, so get behind it. It's, it's getting that first once you get the first one in uh, you're all good because if you, you're trying to do damage to the limbs um, so back away whenever it does any sort of charge this one especially is he gonna see yeah it does get me that's uh, quite a bit of damage staying underneath it and trying to get to the back legs is the ideal thing and you can see there we get the break on the head leaving it open to uh, a riposte type attack there and then once it's in that kind of state, you can kind of manage it at this point. Just keep wailing on it, because it'll keep going to the floor if you keep going for different parts of it. Uh, so you can see it's uh, all over the place. There we get it just as it charges up again. It removes its electric once you take it take it down. Um, yeah, just try and keep no keep on it. No need for another fire paper at this point, so don't waste it. Uh, it's gone back electric again, unfortunately. Not too, but yeah, stay away whenever it does any sort of charge. And the swipes, you can kind of... Oh, no. <laughs> Bad timing. Dash through them. Like I said, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. Get it down again. As long as you can keep it down like this, you'll be fine. And we're done. That's it. Nice and simple, that one. And we're going to get the Spark Hunter badge, allowing for new weapon purchases. Not that we need it though, <laughs> because it's the Tonitrus, I think. I think it's just that. Uh, maybe bolt paper as well. Uh, I think that yeah, I think that's available now. Uh, this door here is going is a shortcut, ish, to Old Yarnum. So uh, you may remember in Old Yarnum we came down to the bottom here. There was two werewolves. They sort of broke away from one another. One went to the left and one went down a, a hill. This is that hill to the bottom. So nothing up there. Don't need to go back up there. Um, the idea is you can go through that door once you've beaten the boss and go and speak to that guy who has the, the machine gun on top of the tower and get the badge the safe way but we just went and killed him, it's easier so I'm going to do my usual clean up now we're done with that area, that's that one done so I'm going to do some upgrades on the Holy Blade because I'm done with uh, twin shards on the uh, the axe now might as well stick three upgrades. So there's three sets of upgrades on each weapon. So you have your normal shards, then you have your twin shards, and then you have your chunks, and then the final one, the tenth one, is the rock. So one to three shards, uh, four to six twin, seven to nine is chunk, and then tenth is rock. Uh, yeah, I just had the third slot open there for a... Um, uh, a gemstone so I've done that on the axe once you get to level six you open up a third slot so might make sure you do that and then I'm gonna switch around I'm gonna have I'm gonna remove air and uh, put moon on instead because you get blood echoes uh, just more blood echoes in general and then I'm gonna just run back and check and make sure I don't have any of the uh, oath but I don't I don't know why I'd, I felt like I thought I saw something but it doesn't matter anyway that's it, so I'm just going to level up and uh, we're done. So if you want to see the levels I'm doing, here they are. Strength. <laughs> so you can see my R2 weapon attack is going up as well now, because we're at, uh, over 25 on strength, or getting up there. So that's all I can do for that one, so we'll do that. Now I need ten, an another couple of thousand. Uh, of course I get my count wrong, because I think it's 10,240. But it's not, it's 10,420. So I'll crack one of these. Which is that. And then I think just the smallest one's enough, but it's not. Annoyingly, so I do apologise for when I'm messing around like this. 
But you've probably gone already. Nobody's here. So I'm just talking to myself anyway. Strength. No, can't do it yet. Because you've not done enough. Come on. One more. And there we go. So we're off to the Forbidden Woods after this one. So that's it. I'm just going to put one more. Oh, we go for Vitality. No, we go for Strength. Go for Strength. Why not? <laughs> Uh, we'll do more in Vitality and Joints later, just going to get the strength up for a bit at this point. Right, Farewell. thanks very much for watching, I'll see you on the next one.